Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna cover installation on um, on Mac because that's what I have, and I I do have uh, Windows um, that I can run on Parallels, but unfortunately you cannot uh, install Docker on uh, on Parallels because it's already a virtualization um, application. So if uh, if you have any problems or questions about installing Docker on Windows, try to Google it. I'm not gonna be able to support that. Um, and, um, and, uh, or you can ask the students here in the, in the community, but let's see what that looks like, um, in terms of installation. So I'm going to click here on where it says, get started with, uh, Docker. And as you can see, I get automatically, it says, get started with Docker uh, on Mac OS 10. And there's, um, uh, instructions for windows and Linux as well. But, uh, so in any case, what we need to do is, um, we need to install Docker, and then um, and then basically we'll have uh, VirtualBox installed uh, automatically, which is a, uh, a, a a a virtualization engine to be able to run Linux within your Windows or Mac, and then within that VirtualBox, um, Docker is is installed. So um, for you to um, to manage. Um, Docker, uh, we're gonna uh, install something called the Docker Toolbox. And it's a little bit tricky here. You need to, um, well, first of all, if you're running uh, OS uh, 10, 8 or newer to run Docker, um, you, um, if you have a, a previous version, it won't, it won't run. But you need to like look for this, uh, go to Docker, Docker Toolbox. And I'm gonna open this in a new tab. And that's the Docker Toolbox. It includes like some um, uh, different uh, tools to be able to manage our, our Docker container. So I'm going to click on the download for Mac and that should install the, um, the Docker toolbox as you can see here. Perfect. So now that I installed, I open the package um, and I get like, um, you know, the normal installation dialog to continue here. Um, install on the hard drive. Perfect. So I have um, now I installed this Docker Quick Start Terminal or the Kitematic Beta, which is a visual management for for Docker. Um, as you guys know, I'm, I'm a big proponent of using Terminal for all the things that you do because that's what uh, professional web uh, or professional software developers uh, do. So we're going to start the Quick Start Terminal. And here I get, um, it's in, in installing the virtual box. And I'll, I'll go over a little bit um, uh, more on what that means, but um, basically it's it's uh, it's creating this virtual box, which is a Linux machine, but a very lightweight vir uh, Linux machine within my Mac, and in that uh, inner machine, it's it's where the the uh, the Docker containers are going to be uh, running. Perfect. So now I have my Docker machine, and it's uh, configured to start the. The machine using the default uh, this IP that we have here. Take note of that IP because that's what you're going to use to be able to interact with your with your uh, Flask application, Flask blog afterwards. So, but in any case, um, we have uh, installed and, and configured Docker on the on on this Mac. 